Cheating has always been a big subject. Chances are, you have been exposed to it somehow, either through someone you know or through the personal experience. It doesn't matter what your nationality is or where you are from. Cheating is part of life. The interesting thing is that it's not always clear where the line between the harmless fun and cheating is. Men, women, and people from different backgrounds all have their own perception of what cheating is. Everyone, of course, is entitled to their belief. But it is important to make sure you are on the same page with your long-term partner about what that means. So let's just talk about it further. What is cheating? Many times it can be pretty difficult to define infidelity and what's considered cheating because people think differently about what constitutes appropriate and inappropriate behavior. And the definition of um, cheating can be especially fuzzy one for the married people who actually just skipped out that adultery conversation before tying the knot. I have actually um, made a video on what to ask a girl or a boy before getting into the relationship or getting engaged. Uh, you can check it on my channel or I'll add the link somewhere here. The only real way to define the cheating and infidelity is if you personally feel that your expectations of faithfulness have been violated. Are you feeling angry, bitterness, sadness? and betrayal as the result of your partner's behavior? If your answer is yes, then definitely it's cheating. Some people think that it's cheating if their partner is engaged in any kind of activity like um, flirting, giving out gifts, unless it's to a relative, secret online conversations, sharing private and uh, personal information, providing emotional support to the uh, gen opposite gender or helping them out in any way, uh, texting to continually, sexting, these kind of things are considered as cheating by them. Whether infidelity happens uh, strictly on a physical, emotional or at cyber level, it depends largely on what you both have actually designated as behavior that is uh, toxic to your relationship. It is important to remember that your feelings are always valid, no matter what. And although you can't actually compel someone to adopt to your personal uh, views on the cheating, you can actually express that um, their behavior has made them emotional or you it hurt you it's a sad day when you are actually forced to come to terms to the fact that your partner might never provide the validation or change their behavior but you still retain the power to whether to choose to stay in it in the relationship or move on Have you ever gotten very close to someone who isn't your partner? You didn't have an affair because nothing physical happened, but still feel like that a boundary was crossed. Does it uh, feel like you might have been cheating by spending so much time and energy on someone else? This is a real thing. It's actually called emotional infidelity but um, how do you know if you are having an emotional affair or forming a meaningful important friendship what is the difference between casual flirting with someone and having some uh, fun or cheating on your partner so how common is that um, emotional infidelity um, emotional infidelity is um, relatively new. Some couples have defined uh, emotional infidelity as having a crush on someone else, um, even if it isn't acted on. While others might say it's only sustained 
intimate communication with another person do people have to meet in person uh, to have an emotional affair or is it direct messaging to one another over instagram should it cause a concern there is um, something which actually you should know about yourself maybe you are committing an um, emotional infidelity so how to identify that in yourself you should actually ask few questions to yourself like am i getting my emotional needs met with someone else even if it's not physical even if it's just through internet or through texts uh, next question you should ask is am i concealing my relationship if you are engaged in a new friendship that um, you can't ta- talk about with your spouse or partner or you don't feel comfortable relieving, uh, revealing that extent of it so something is probably qu- not quite right Another question which you can ask is do I turn to someone else for emotional support do you uh, feel more comfortable talking to your male coworker about your problems than your husband and same goes for the uh, husband that you feel more comfortable talking to your female coworker or friend than your uh, partner do you find yourself confiding in um, someone else who isn't your spouse or not your partner uh, another question which you can ask yourself is am i neglecting my partner's emotional or physical needs obviously if you are putting someone else over your long term partner if you would rather uh, talk to another guy instead of your husband then or your partner or your boyfriend then it is a sign that you are actually engaged in an emotional infidelity if you are actually channeling your uh, so much emotional or physical or psychological energy into a relationship with someone else that is not your partner then your partner feels neglected and um, it's time to uh, really analyze the nature of that relationship which you are actually having with that other person so what actually caused that emotional infidelity there are certain reasons it can be your uh, unmet needs for example um, if your needs are not being met by your partner you might look at somewhere else to be fulfilled maybe your partner is especially like busy at work or busy with some family stuff or taking care of the kids or whatever the reason is and is not giving you the time or um not giving you the enough time to ask you questions or discuss your work or discuss your what's going on with you then you try to find that comfort or that needs to be fulfilled by uh, someone else there can be other reason like um, seeking revenge um in some situations a spouse may engage in an emotional affair as a way to getting back at their partner or uh, dealing with um, under addressed angers or issue it is actually a form of um, what do you say acting out uh, but in a way that might seem less serious um, than cheating physically also if um, if someone is feeling distant uh, from their partner um, they might seek closeness in other Thank you.